What's happening, my film friends? David the Film Junkie here, and I'm going to bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm going to find it for you and tell you about it. Yes, that's right. This is the Junkie Quick Fix. It's a day late. Um, I apologize. I actually did record one yesterday, but I went kind of off on a rant about something, and it just dragged a little too long. And then, of course, some awesome images showed up today in the movie world that got everybody excited. So, hey, let's talk some movies. All right, first off, no Batman vs. Superman news. What the hell? Nothing. Not, not, nothing's coming out. No, no trickle, no leak, no nothing. Hopefully you guys have seen all the leaked stuff, you know, the supposed leaked trailer, the fake, um, I shouldn't say supposed uh, leaked trailer, the fake leaked trailer, as well as the fake leaked script. Um, those are on my channel, so check them out. So let's move over to the Marvel world, the Marvel Studios world, and check it out. <laughs> Avengers Age of Ultron, official images released by Entertainment Weekly. There we go, there's the cover right there. Showing us some Cappy, some Iron Man, some Tony Stark, I should say. And some Ultron right behind him. Wow, look at that guy. Looking pretty menacing right there. Uh, then we got, of course, they dropped like eight more images here. We got, first one we got is uh, all of them, uh, including Mr. Don Cheadle. Okay, I wasn't, I remember hearing that he was uh, supposedly going to be in the movie, and there he is. So that's cool. We might see some Iron Patriot in Avengers 2. Don't mind that. Then you got some Hawkeye uh, dodging what seems to be some kind of explosion going on. Then, of course, we got my wife. I mean, my girlfriend. I mean, my love. It's Scarlett Johansson as uh, Black Widow with a uh, shorter, wavier hair. Orange, more orange. Um... I could look at this image for days, but let's move on. Um, then we got we got Mr. Banner, Mr. Bruce Banner, and Tony Stark. What seems to be that they're looking at something. They're experimenting on something, so that's pretty cool. And then we got, of course, the twins, the new the new added new superheroes to this team already. We got Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, of course, by. Uh, Aaron Paul Johnson, Aaron Taylor Johnson. I always, ah, damn, these actors and their middle names, man. It's hard to remember them all. Then we got, you know, Elizabeth Olsen. And then we got uh, Mr. Joss Whedon doing some directing, doing that directing thing that he's awesome at because, let's face facts, Avengers, he pulled out the impossible. And then we got Mr. Thor, who, well, is kind of, he's now, he's a girl now, right? Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on with the hair? No, I'm just kidding. I know that's in the comics. I could talk about that thing, too, but I actually don't even care. You know, Thor is a girl. Fine. Seems like he's the only one that could be transferred into a girl. He's already got that long Goldilocks hair. And Captain America standing next to him, of course. But I really love this image right here. All the costumes hung up with all the labels sticking out it's a beautiful shot right here really love this picture so if you want to check out all these save them or whatever masturbate to them whatever you want to do you know whatever pick your poison what you want to do i'll have the uh, article down below in the balls area so click it check it out and let me know what you think about them and now to the spoiler ish part of the video um you guys might if you guys don't want to hear this the potential spoilers for avengers 2 uh some footage has been seen and some descriptions have come about of these scenes that we're seeing so if you don't want to hear it stop the video now or fast forward i don't know just stop go on about your day anyways here we go so this side over here let's see what was it uh radio times they apparently got some first-hand footage that might actually be seen at this year's comic-con that'll be exciting okay so this site reports that tony stark's hulkbuster armor ooh, i don't want to see that it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the giant green rage monster that is the Hulk, okay? And it's described as, you know, where the normal suit is sleek as a missile. This one's bruising like a tank. And, uh, yeah, we can see about the concept art right there. And then we got, additionally, a scene with Scarlet Witch was shown where she's fighting alongside Hawkeye on a ruined Italian street. But earlier in the reel, her, she and her brother were locked up in a perplex, what is it, perspex? <laughs> I don't even say a fancy perspex prison cell. Okay, so we kind of saw that. We, you know, we saw them locked up, but we also saw these set photos where Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye, they're they're freaking blowing some shit, or they're fucking some shit up, and that's for sure. Okay, and then finally, we uh, this actually was confirmed by Mr. Kevin Feig. <laughs> by the way, fuck that guy. He uh, Apparently he said something. Oh, yeah, Peyton Reed is a perfect man to direct Ant-Man. Come on, that's a huge dick slap to the face to Edgar Wright. No, that's not even right. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll leave my reservations about... Mr. Kevin Fish. I don't even know how to say his last name. Anyways, um, yes, the Avengers Tower. He and he confirmed this too that uh, it's a floor to ceiling, windows, twin laboratories. This is basically Tony Stark's tower in the Avengers. We 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 they foreshadowed this by having the A 
you know, the A that in Stark was the only one that lasted. They kind of foreshadowed this right there, and apparently he's he's bankrolling everything because Shield came to an end at the end of Win Winter Soldier. So now we have to have a new spot, and now it's called Avengers Tower. And boom, here we go. It's uh, yeah, it's reminiscent of the Shield Helicarrier in terms of construction, with lots of shiny metal pillars. So that's cool. We'll see if that happens at uh, uh, we'll see if we see that footage at Comic Con. Hopefully we do. Let me know what you think about it down below in the balls area. All right, who wants to go on a trip? How about to Jurassic World? No? Yeah, I wouldn't go either. But hey, look at this brochure that is showing this. Yeah, there we go. I love how they're marketing this movie. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we still got like less than a year, probably. I, I don't forgot exactly when it comes out. Um, but they're they're kind of marketing. I guess there was a poster that came out too that showed the entire island, kind of like how you would see like a poster for like some kind of amusement park or resort. And they're doing it with this, with this brochure too. And as you can see, it's pretty legit looking. And uh, but let's face facts, no one's gonna have a destination spot here. But in the movie, it's looking like maybe they turn this place into some kind of resort. And of course, shit's gonna go down. That's the way it goes in these movies, and uh, everything like that. And uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Just make sure you hit that like thumbs up button. If be so kind subscribe to my channel if you have not already and please visit filmjunket.com for your latest in movie news trailers and film reviews all right guys i'm david and i brought you some movie news you can find on your own but i found it for you and told you about it you're welcome sir and madame <sighs> yeah bite my tongue mr kevin F whatever your name is that was just it's just to me I, I love edgar Wright, and just him saying all that it was just like wow that's that that's just kind of low dude a little bit. All right, guys. Talk to you later.